is going to be a bedtime tarot. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. You'll see I was shuffling and clearing the energies, and I got a whole message right here alone. It started off with the sun card in reverse, and as I saw the other cards that were along with it, I got the full message. At first, I thought your person wants you to reach out, and it's not that. It's that your person does want to come forward. Your person wants you to know this. But right now, they're in a pause mode because not only are they judging themselves and overthinking this situation, they are worried about the judgment that will be cast on them. So I look deeper into it. What is that judgment about? And for many of them, it is because you and this person have been having an ongoing um, relationship of some sort. And this person literally wants to leave a family and sacrifice that whole thing. For some people, there's no children even involved, but it's still a family essence. And this person is worried that the rest of the people, I almost wanted to say like viewers or audience, because these are people that are just watching that this person's worried about. I don't even feel like they're actually close friends with them because I actually feel like some of their close friends already know about this situation but they are worried about this audience seeing that this was a lie they were living they were not in that happy home situation so this is what's on your person's mind at this time and we are going to look deeper into what your person has to say I do want to let you know I am offering a $40 special uh, I'm going to put the link below. You can literally send it. I was going to put a code on my website. No, I'll put the link below. But it will be for a limited amount of people. Okay. And the $40 special, I would like to offer this to people who have had their person re-enter their life recently. And they just want to know the general message. It's like a mini rating along with a little advice for the situation from all of our guides, okay? So it's collective energy, and I think a lot of people are actually coming in or in and out of contact with their person right now. So it's good to know what's on their mind, what their intentions are, what, I was going to say motions, what movement they'll be taking, what actions they'll be taking, and how you should or what, the, what would best serve you. Um, I actually did a similar reading on my own, and mine was all about just holding space, even though I'm in communication and things are great, but just holding space was a main message for me. I found that very interesting, but yeah. Okay, so let's begin and see what's going on. And thank you for all of my new subscribers and Patreon members. I really appreciate you. Sorry. I'm so sorry is the first message I'm hearing. I just have to see where this came out. Yeah, you and this person may have actually had a fight. I'm getting the word ghosted. Many of you know those are not familiar terms I, I like to use or appreciate using. But I am fully getting, you know, you and this person may have had a bit of an honest argument. And this person left instead of talking it out, instead of, really trying to solve anything instead of trying to get to the bottom of it. Um, it looks like this person left and left you wondering, left you thinking, left you missing. Uh, I know I have a lot of feminines on here that really love their person and are very sexual towards them. And I'm actually getting that message where you were, for some of you, you were literally contemplating about, you know, I miss that man, you know, or, or a woman, if it's a woman, but I'm seeing the male symbol. So anyhow, this person is saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I left. I'm so sorry I took my love. You may have known that that's what this person was going to do. You may have seemed a little more aggressive in the situation here because there is a woman literally on top of the man. It looks like he's scared is what I'm hearing. But I mean, you know, the message is this person loves you so much but they were not ready to get to the bottom of this. They were not ready to tell you the full truth about a situation. Um, there's something more with this, or maybe even to, it's like this, this is what I'm seeing, that this person and you knew that the connection is so good, 
And you're just sitting there like, what are you doing in another situation you don't want to be in? You're faking it and you know you want to be with me. And it's this is what I'm getting there. It's almost like with this energy, it's the same energy. You're just like, are you kidding me? Do I have to watch this charade again and again? For some of you, you are pregnant with this person. It doesn't have to, it's not a big deal. That's just for some of you, um, which probably made it even more irritating, right? I think this person actually has expressed a lot of love to you, uh, but they just weren't taking the action. Okay, so let's get more messages from your person. Okay. Is your person I want to know? Here we go. Well, yeah, definitely. This person wants to come in. You are their best friend, is what I'm hearing. They don't know how they're going to explain everything to you because they actually haven't left the other situation just yet. Um, as I said, they're afraid of being judged, and I'm seeing the higher fin here. Some of them, they are married. You know, there are kids involved here. And this person right now, it looks like they're even afraid of being judged by you about what they're going to say when they finally come in. They're embarrassed about something. So let's see. What, and I think it is actually just that they left. And here we go with this energy of this person leaving, even though you probably advise them, like, don't do it. Don't leave me again. You know, I really get that vibe. Like when this person is coming back, you're not even jumping with joy. You're just like shaking your head almost. It's like you almost know exactly what this person is going to say when they come back in. You know, I love you. I want to be with you. I have all this other stuff going on. I'm worried about losing money. I'm worried about everything type of thing. And it's just like, you're like, oh, again, again. So, okay, what else does this person want you to know? You know, we could do, okay, I was going to ask. This person is actually saying, for some of you, you're all either taken um, or you're just very confident out there. You're just putting yourself out there. You are, you've really leveled up to a new level is what I'm getting. But, like, this is the weird thing. I'm getting, like, this person knows that they still have your heart. Okay? So, it's almost like you can go out there, yeah. I think some of you may be putting quite an effort into moving on or putting yourself out there. But, to be honest, what I get is you want this person. To be honest. this per or, or, at least, this person has your heart. So when you go out there and search, you know, or try to find love, um, you can do it. And I do believe you can do it. But it doesn't matter if it's your twin flame or your soulmate. If this person has your heart, it's not going to work in other relationships. That's why you fully have to let go um, when you're trying to move on here. And I do feel like some of you are, but like some of you just may want to have a good time and get out there and just enjoy a human being. Um, I think this person is being cocky right now and saying like, I know I have your heart, you know, the four of coins. It's like, no matter what else you have and the four of arrows, I think some of you have actually explored and attempted, you know, maybe multiple other people, partners. Some of you, maybe you just tried, one to three other people, maybe even four, double four energy here. But you always felt, and I don't feel like you felt empty, but I don't see that you felt good. It's like, I want him. Where is he? You know, for some, I feel like if you're a female, you like, you know, maybe you did sleep with people and then you're like, just go type of thing. Or maybe you do flirt with people and you know, you have real, truly no interest whatsoever. You might just be testing the waters just to make sure you still got it or something. Um, yeah, okay. What else is this person? I feel like they know this. I feel like they've been watching. So let's see what these cards are. Ooh. Okay, so this person is about to open up here. So this person says that they too think about you even when they're with Whoever they're, I feel like this is kind of a very, it's a marriage -y. Okay, I'm just going to put it like that, marriage -y. Um, 
because I did, I saw it may not have kids involved. I think I mentioned that, but there's some sort of a long-term situation here. And remember I mentioned about, you know, the way they look, that's really the big problem here. You could be dealing with someone who's in a very almost uh, Aries type energy and maybe their partner too, where they have a lot of, I want to say products, but toys, they have a lot of like gadgets and houses and maybe boats and cars, uh, very flashy energy, a lot of money. So this person wants you to know that when they're with their person, they think about you. They know that they have your heart and they want you to know you have their heart too. One thing that is really happening in this household is this person is spending a lot of time working just to get out or away from this situation. Like this person, I'm getting the message. They're not having tons of fun. That's not, you know, when they left, that wasn't the goal or anything like that. I'm not sure what the goal was. But I just feel like maybe they have a responsibility or they have this image. The person that they're with, whoever they're seeing, is very immature is what I get. And it's almost as though this the masculine here or, or whoever it is, one person married the other literally either just for a look or for family connections. This masculine did not marry this feminine for love. And this feminine knows it. That's what I'm getting. Okay, more messages. Honestly, I just heard, like, I was just about to say more messages to your princess. This person may call you princess, baby, like sugar pie. Oh, look at the eight of swords is coming, you know, wanting to be here in reverse. This person wants to reach out to you. And I keep on getting that message. This card wanted to come up. Yeah, communication, queen of arrows. And you actually are coming up very much so as the queen of swords energy. I've already saw her sticking out multiple times. And this may be because not only are you in your power, but the queen of scorns, I was about to say, the queen of swords is an energy of someone who's been scorned, someone who's often been left or divorced. Um, and this is, you know, here in this scenario, this is someone very loving. This is a very beautiful, passionate feminine. And I feel like the reason you're a queen now, because you were first coming up as the princess of swords, is because you're just, you've taken your place. I think you've explored. I think you've really gotten to know yourself. Maybe some of you did go out and date or try other things. And you're just here in your peace and quiet <laughs> Seriously, you're very happy. And I don't think you're paying attention to the uh, this person's situation right now because you're done with crying. You're done with wondering. You're done with uncertainty is the word I'm hearing. Unsurety is the second word I'm hearing. I'm just, no, that just caught my eyes like that. You're done with crying. Some of you may be buying yourself gifts, okay? And some of you, like I said, I'm getting more of the energy that maybe in the beginning or maybe now, you know, maybe you plan to the next month. I don't know why I heard next month. Maybe, like maybe that's what you're planning. Maybe you're working out or something. You're like, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have fun. I'm just hearing this. For some of you, you're really hurt about what happened. And you do just kind of want revenge fun. I guess that's what, I don't know. Like, I don't recommend it, by the way, but I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. And I, it's fine. But don't do it just because this person left. Because this, oh my gosh, I'm getting a message for you guys. Um, listen, do things from the heart. Don't rush. Because what you're going to get out there right now is the exact same scenario you're leaving. And the reason is maybe it's not the same connection, right? But it's because you have unfinished business with this person. So to go out looking for someone to fill their space or to, to fill a spot, this person is going to do the same thing and piss you off because they're going to leave. You know, and some of you may be just going out to have some fun. Um, I'm just telling you. You have to do it when it's genuinely what you want to do. 
I feel like some of you can have your pick of the litter. You know, you can have many, multiple people. And I know we all can, but it's about quality, not quantity. Don't do it. <laughs> but that's me. That's how I look at it. I just, from my lessons in life, it's not worth it, you know? So, you know, you know, no, because you're going to get a whole bunch of princes. Okay. So, yeah, you probably have a lot of people that really do like you. Tristan, I don't know. I always think of Trojan when I see that. I don't know. I'm hearing run for the hills. I'm just hearing like, don't, don't, don't dilute yourself. Don't dilute yourself. Don't give yourself this illusion that there's better. You have everything you need within you. Okay. That's just a side message. So what else does your person want to say here? Let's get to that. Hmm. The king of swords here. So once again, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I haven't contacted you. This person is looking, either looking for you, watching you, um, waiting for the perfect time. This person also may have multiple times or maybe have a gift, but I'm seeing flowers here. So maybe, you know, they grabbed you a bouquet of flowers, but they could never find you or they couldn't see you. Or maybe some of you ignored their calls. I don't recommend that. Like if this person has your heart and if you're not answering their calls that they call you, that is you being childish. And that's the truth. So take it or leave it. It's childish. Because if you want someone back, you cannot do the actions that are the opposite. We are not living in the game world anymore in the 80s. Like, I know that sounds, I just, I say that because I feel like back in the days, that was what everything's about. It's time to change. It's time to be honest. You know, because we don't know how many opportunities. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay, so I feel for some of you, this person has tried to reach out and you're not caught, you're not picking up. Some of you, maybe you said like, no, I want them to come to my doorstep. I get it. And it looks like they may. But I just don't recommend the games, guys. Just saying, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you shut them down. I feel like this person may have tried to reach out and you shut them down one way or another, or you ignored them or... You know, so what's going on in this person's life that they're so worried about? Nine of arrows, okay. Ah. Tears is the first thing I'm getting, but let's see what else. Nine of arrows, what's going on in this person's life? Yeah, so this person right now is trying to find their way back to normality is what I'm hearing. Um, this person's in a very unhappy situation. And it's not just them. It's actually also... Who else is this? I almost actually feel like there's a child involved. But I think it's that child energy. And the thing is, it's really weird because what I'm getting is whoever this child energy is, they want a lot of attention. Um, so they may be doing things. It's weird. It's like they may be, hmm, let me just clarify quickly. Well, I just think they're acting like a child, this person. I think they're doing certain things to like, I want to say bring excitement, but... It's more like reckless that they're doing. Like, I'm getting this. I'm getting someone who's like, I want to do this. And then your person might be like, no, like, it's not a good idea. And then they're like, I'm going to do it. And then this person has to go and chase them and save them from hurting themselves or something like that. It's almost like this one person says, like, I want to go and race cars. And your person says, like, no, no, no. Like, no, no, no. And the person's like, yes, I am. I'm going to get in the car. And then this person has to get in the car with them and hold them back and like treat them like a baby. I'm hearing that this female that your person's dealing with likes to be mothered. So like, they just want that no onus of responsibility or to like, I don't know, something like that. That's weird. That sucks. 
sucks. That sucks. So this person is trying to find their way out of it. It really is what's happening here. I'm seeing it. And for some, there is children involved. And that's why your person wants to stay in this situation is to protect because this person is a child themselves. And your person, I do feel, does have love for them, but it's like a fatherly love. It's like a childish love. Um, yeah, I hear like, you know, at one point, maybe in the beginning, there was sexual attraction. Sure. You know, because this person didn't marry for love. So maybe, you know, someone young and maybe like from a family of whatever wealth or whatever. Uh, but this person is realizing like, that was a silly choice because, sure, maybe they have success, okay? I, I feel like, yeah, we already got three kings here. I saw the other one flying around. So, yeah, this person has success. Um, they got that, but it came along with a grown child that is not their child. Let's see what's coming on here. Wow, well, that's nice. So this person wants to walk away. Like, we already know that. They want to start a brand new beginning. This person is saying, I'm ready to give it all up. For a new beginning. So is that happening? Let's see. We have the Hierophant. What's underneath? It's a very strong option with this little girl or this little kid whoever this kid is this masculine energy i'm getting here has tried to explain this to this person multiple times like i don't want this is what i'm getting your person probably tries to say to them you can do better don't you want to do all these things you want to you know be a car racer or whoever the heck whatever the heck you want to be like you should go do that on your own something like this you know, there may be one child between these two or one very important factor. And this person wants to say, I'll take care of this. Don't worry about it. Go do your own thing. But still, this little person, this little girl, she has, um, she has a thing about her. Um, Throwing a temper tantrum if she doesn't get what she wants, okay? What she wants, she should be getting, or I'm just hearing it's over. Like as in, she throws a huge temper tantrum. I mean, I don't know how much detail I should go into here. I also am getting that this little person energy here um, does use sex as like something, there's something there. I'm not saying they're really having much sex. I don't know, but I could see the temper tantrum energy there with that. Okay. So I mean, and I did come up, look at now we have the queen of wands. I, I did get that sexual energy in the beginning. And I do feel that that was between you and this person. Maybe this person just attracts women like very attractive or something. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, the queen of wands. So yeah, I think that that's, honestly, I just feel like this woman, I don't know. It doesn't matter if she's sexual or not. It doesn't matter. But there's something to that. I don't know. Some of you are going to say sex magic because I'm seeing it stick out now. And I don't know. Maybe, yeah, here's that other one again. Give it to her or it's done. As in, like, you're done. You're You're fried. Yeah. Okay, so what will happen here? What is your person? What's the final message for you? Look at it all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was that beautiful sun. I'm looking for a way out. Oh, here's the sun, and it's not far. It's not far. And I mean, it's almost right here, too, but it's money right now. This person, is, is that really what you're saying here? Because I'm hearing it. 
This person is waiting for some sort of money before, look at, before things can fully end. What's that about, please? What the heck are you talking about? Look at two tens right now. This person is waiting for something to come in. Um, oh my gosh, before being able to go towards love. This person wants me to tell you to stop sleeping around. I know that sounds weird. I don't know if you're actually doing that because it has come up. I don't know why there's so much sex talk in here or sexuality or whatever. Uh, but this person wants me to tell you to stop. <laughs> you may be very charming in the bedroom but what I'm hearing is like why bother when you're not happy you're not going to be satisfied so I don't know what your person knows about you but look at that here we go the fool card it's like stop trying to have this new beginning you're wasting your time this person no no what is that please explain wow this person knows you want them and it's almost like whoever the heck you're giving your time to is, in their eyes, a little boy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Or like, like you're the guide. You're the mature one. You're the one that knows what you're doing. You're the one that's telling him what to do, how to play the flute type of thing. Okay, you get what I'm saying here? And maybe that is what you're, you're like. Maybe you're going after people you know you are not going to have interest in in the long run and just having fun and I'm giving you the advice and your person's giving you the advice obviously for different reasons because you might get pregnant too so watch out you know do you want a, a baby with a random I'm not like I'm not saying a random but like you know like someone who you just plan to have fun with no you don't you know you know who you do want it with the love of your life the world's card here the one that you're holding space for and holding like space is what I'm going to say, but like you're holding that string. You're waiting for this person to come in. And anyone else that comes in this time will leave you unsatisfied. You might as well just hang out with your girlfriends. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but for a second I thought I read something else. I'm like, you know. Yeah, so that's that, guys. I don't know where this message is or what's going on here. But let's just get one more or a couple more. How your person's looking at you. Take me up on my special offer. Um, I'm going to leave the link below. $40 for a mini reading. It's for people who have had someone come back in. So you don't have to give me any information. I'm just going to look into where it's going and what this person intends to do and advice for you in the situation where this person is coming in your life. You know, not for people... The, I mean, if you want to take me up on the offer, sure, but I'm looking to do readings for people that have had people come back recently, because I know a lot of you have, and I know sometimes money's tight, so why not? So, yeah, this person's going within, wow, this person like, is getting real about not only their life situations, yeah, about you and this connection. This person has really been taking time. We have two kings here already, the realist and the professional, taking a look at what's going on and like, do I want what I have? Do I want to be in this uh, Mr. Professional energy? Like getting real here, going in, introspection here, the hermit, right? Because this person is seriously considering leaving a partnership sure there's some romance but it don't matter because this person is ready to walk away it's just it's all a lie you know and I do feel that they may be married here with the queen of cups here in the lover's energy yeah I do feel like the marriage was for the wrong reasons, competition, disappointment, and victory. It's like this person married the other, I think, honestly, for some sort of business venture type of thing, okay? The adventurer, it's right here, attitude, hangman. They got themselves in a, in a situation to gain respect or to gain money money and respect are similar even though they knew they shouldn't have the moon card they were just what I'm getting is they were just kind of going with the flow like this is the best plan I have right now let me go marry this one even though they knew they knew okay so 
yeah, this person is really taking a look at what's going on. We have the judgment card there in the tower. This person may even be going through a midlife crisis right now. And this is why they're like, what have I got myself into in this situation? You know, like honestly, and it's all for money. It really is. So that's the message. It's time for this person to really consider making that move and leaving, right? But yeah, okay, bedtime story. Take me up on my offer, link below. Um, do not rush it, please, because I'm probably going to get a lot of um, people taking me up on that mini reading. So you don't need to message and ask when it will be done, but it will most likely be done within a week's time, depending on when you book, if you're first or not. And I'll only run the offer, I'm going to say, for now until um, Wednesday. Okay, guys? That's just, I don't know exactly what the dates are. Just you feel that for some of you, you and this person are going to figure out a way together to make this work. Okay? Bye for now. Thank you so much.